What's up guys? Me again. Here to bring you a new video. It's Thursday night. NFL Week 1 premieres tonight. Thought I'd make a video tonight. It's been great. Off season. Love it. I think this is the season I'm looking forward to most. Out of all NFL seasons in the past, this is the one I'm looking forward to the most. Chip Kelly, new head coach of the Eagles. Exciting draft prospects. And I'm just loving football more and more. So, doing a bit of a recap from last week's loss to the Jets. And last week of the preseason. We lost by seven points. Second string team was on the whole time. I thought Vic was going to play, but he didn't. So that's why I thought we were going to win. Because the first stringers would have been on. But this is a second string game, so... Things didn't go as well. Receivers didn't catch the ball. Foles looked a bit off. And the defense looked a bit sluggish. Coleman played a great game, though. Trent Cole played a great game. He's having a hard time adjusting to the 3-4, though. But that'll take its time. And um, D-line had a all right game. Offensive line had a terrible game. So they just need to work on that for week one, which is on Sunday. It starts officially tonight. The Eagles, it starts on Monday night. A lot of interesting games. Tonight, it's the Baltimore Ravens taking on Denver away at Sports Authority Field in Denver. Sunday night, the game I'm going to watch is Dallas against New York Giants. And then Monday night, of course, Eagles versus Redskins. Damn, that's going to be a good game. So the Eagles lost 27-20 to because the Jets. Geno Smith is their new quarterback. He's going to start week one against the Buccaneers, I think I read. He didn't play, though. Neither did Sanchez. Their third stringer, I forget his name, played against the Eagles. Their secondary, our secondary was terrible, I must say. That needs to improve. But leave it on that note. New week. End of preseason. Two and two. Forget about it. We're zero and zero now. Looking for going one and zero. This game. Things I'm worried about is their defense a bit. Well, there's offense too. There's RG3 is coming off an injury. He's been looking healthy. Um, how I feel. People have been saying, in like on um, hate pages and stuff like that, like fan pages, trash pages, but that's what they are. They trash other people and people's teams. So that's what they're supposed to do. So they said they should like, should like, hopefully he gets injured and stuff like that. That's not cool. I'm not going to say that. He's a good player. I respect him. I hope he does well. But when it comes to playing the Eagles, I hope he has an off game. I hope he's not running as much with the football as he did last time we played against him and the Redskins. Alfred Morris, he's going to be dangerous. He's a dangerous ass running back. We need to watch out for um, their quick runs and their pass plays because their receivers are pretty good. Randy Moss, not Santana Moss, he's still very good. He's a veteran, but he's still very good. He's still sharp. Um, but with RG3 and the new rookie quarterbacks, they've played in the NFL the whole season now. All the other NFL teams have had a good look what they got. Chip Kelly's got a good look what he's got. And he's going to counter that. So hopefully that will go well. Defense. I'm a bit worried. I think they're going to run over our defense. At first, but then we're going to get used to it. And then I think we're going to work back. Work our way back up. So beginning it's going to be... I, don't know, we're gonna, I think we're going to be under by... Set by like 10 points at least before we score points. To be honest, I hope it hope it doesn't happen, but the way the way it's looking right now, that's probably going to happen. Unless you start off with the ball. <clears throat> but their defense, Redskins defense, they got some big ass guys. They got. London Fletcher, for one, he's a heck of a good linebacker. They got a good defensive line. They got a good secondary, decent secondary. And there's another guy. 
Akpoku or Akpoku. Something like that, yeah. He's good too. He's a good linebacker. He's good outside. He's covers well and he's he's sharp. And on the def on our defense, we made a couple of pickups, put a couple of guys in practice squad. There's one guy, I think his dad played for the Eagles, and then now he's switched from the Buccaneers to the Eagles. I forget what his name is. His name on the tip of my tongue. We picked up another corner or we picked up a free safety from San Francisco, and then we picked up another one from Cincinnati Bengals. So our secondary is looking better and better, which is good. Chip Kelly focused on what we need to build on, build on what we need to build on, and work from there. So hopefully it will go well. Uh, I watched EDP 445. Shout out to him, dog. I shouldn't say dog. Uh, shout out to him. He predicted the Eagles would win. Low scoring game, I agree. If he said the Eagles would win, eh, I can see that happening. But, the way the Redskins, they they deserve the title, NFC ti NFC's title last year, I agree with that. But a lot of the fans overreacted, thought they won the Super Bowl. Uh, but they're still a tough team. I'll give them that. They're still a tough team. They're going to be competitors in the NFC's for a very long time. So they're going to be tough to beat this year, yet again. But I say... I say if Vic plays a heck of a game, D-Jax plays, D-Jax plays a great game, well, Macklin's out, and uh, it can't be him, Avant plays a heck of a game, Salik plays a heck of a game, McCoy plays a heck of a game, and then the defense shows up, Coleman plays a heck of a game like he did against the Jets, I say we win this by at least seven. Low scoring, like ADP said, but I think we win, like, 14 to 21 or something like that. You think I'm crazy? Sure. It's what I do best. Call crazy scores. So, the game will start... Um, I'll get... It's on Monday night, that's sure. I have to double check on it. I think it's televised on ABC 6 or something. And of course, Game Pass for you to have that. I have that. That's how I watch games here in Sweden. They never show freaking Eagles games on the Swedish channel, TV10. They only show like Green Bay and Detroit and like Oakland and Florida teams. They hate East Coast teams for some reason. But yeah. Let's go, Eagles. Hopefully, we win this game. It's looking good. Great start to this season, I say. We went 2-2 two two in preseason, but that's preseason. Who the heck cares? Start fresh. 0-0 zero, zero, against the Redskins. Let's go 1-0. and oh. Go Eagles. Talk to you guys later, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a good weekend.